welcome back. How have you been? Hope you're all okay. Hope you're all staying safe. What else is there to say? <laughs> no one's going anywhere. No one's doing anything. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Emma and I am a mid-sized person. <laughs> and I like to thrash around at my bedroom, trying on clothes and styling them in different ways and just kind of having a bit of fun with it all really. I generally buy my clothes from charity shops. However, as you know, if you live in the UK, or I'm sure you know, even if you don't live in the UK, we are entering lockdown number 3012 and the shops are shut and they were open and the pubs are closed and that's basically it. So where I would normally go and buy all my clothes from, I haven't been able to. I don't enjoy shopping online, so I've not really done, well, I've not done that at all. So I thought, what can I do? I've not been on YouTube for so long. I need to do something. And I thought that I could maybe do a bit of a shop my wardrobe with me and sort of found a few things that I'm not really wearing and things that are quite summery. I found new ways to wear them for the winter months because let's face it, we're probably going to be in winter for a couple more months yet at least. So I don't think it's too early to put away the thick tights and the big boots. So that's what I'm going to do. So I hope you've all been okay. I hope you're all going to enjoy this video. I've not done anything for so long. I did actually have to watch back through some of my old videos to kind of see what I do, <laughs> and how I do it, because I've completely forgotten. So um, I apologise for my roots. They're terrible. I have no inclination to do anything with them. I do my own hair, so I've got no excuse. But I haven't got any of the colour that I need. Can't be bothered to make a trip to the supermarket to get it. And yeah, that's it. So I apologise for that. And so I thought I would appropriately go for my um, Silver Fox mug because, you know, you are what you drink. <laughs> this may or may not be red wine. <laughs> so here I am back in my bedroom. Nothing has changed. I'm probably wider than I was, <laughs> filling more of the screen than I was three months ago, but that's lockdown for you. And I even downloaded um, one of those apps. Is it a fast, it's called Fastic, which is a fasting app, so that you fast 16 hours a day and you eat for eight hours a day. And my husband has been doing it and he's doing really well with it. And my app knocked yesterday and said, are you still there? <laughs> because we've not heard of you for so long. And I thought, oh my God, even my apps are making me feel really guilty. So anyway, what I'm going to do is just quickly talk you through a few things that, there are a couple of things that you won't have seen because I, because I haven't done a video for so long, I did actually buy a couple of things on the run up to Christmas and on the run up to this lockdown million and nine that we're in. And uh yeah so i'll sort of talk you through them and then just sort of talk you through styling them up in different ways i think what i might do is show you the way that i was wearing it and then show you the new way that i'm going to wear it i kind of feel that i need these videos to be a little bit more um snappy and a bit more to the point because i waffle and i know that some people quite like that but i do get a lot of negative <laughs> negative feedback from the amount of gassing that i do as my mother would say. So I just think I'm gonna get into the video for those that are here for that and and I can talk while I'm doing that. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a coat, which has been a bit of a game changer. I'm just gonna pop that there. I'm also using a microphone today. <laughs> I know, I'm so posh. I don't know if it's going to make any difference because I know that some people have said that the sound quality of my videos isn't brilliant. And because I haven't got expensive camera equipment or filming equipment, um, I am aware that that is something. If I'm if I'm thinking that this is going to be a serious thing that I want to do, then I need I probably need to to sort that out. But um, so I've I've got a microphone that I've I've got set up. So I don't know whether it's going to make the sound quality any different. Probably just blur out the background sound. That there is our ensuite bathroom, and we've just had to. I said I wasn't going to waffle, and here I am telling you my life story. We've just had to phone British Gas out because we've got our plumbing covered with them. Not that you care. Um, 
and they need to come out because we've got our main bathroom through there that um, the toilet's broken and the toilet won't flush. So literally before I came up, this is the only working toilet in the house and I know we're very lucky to have two toilets anyway, but this is the only one that's working now. So I've just had to say, you know, like that part in Nativity where, um, I can't think of that guy's name, Mr. Mr. Plop, not Mr. Ploppy. I can't think of his bloody name. And he goes, does anybody need a wee or a poo? <laughs> I've just had to literally say that to the house. Because obviously my daughter's here homeschooling. My son's here doing his online university lectures. My husband's here because he's not working now. So it's all just been, it's very, very strange. The house is very rarely tidy. So I think more than anything, it's been nice to just think about coming up here, just have a bit of a mental health break <laughs> or mental health breakdown. <laughs> one of the two so anyway the first thing I want to show you is this coat which is covered covered in my hair um and it's probably not going to show up very brilliantly on screen but it's a navy coat <laughs> Hobbs, and it's originally from Zara it's a Zara basic that was already broken when I bought it I paid eight pound I think for this and I bought this in a charity shop I think I bought it literally on the saturday and oh it's snowing and oh. um, i bought it on the saturday and then oh bojo came on the the tally on saturday night and scuppered every bugger's plans and popped us back into another lockdown with immediate effect so i was pretty pleased as, with myself really that i'd managed to back myself this coat bought it from cancer research in our local village and when i say i've worn it to death i have worn it to death and then I wore it yesterday because we popped to Sainsbury's and my husband said, where have you had that from? I thought I've had it for six weeks, five weeks nearly. I've worn it every time we've gone out. You know, the man who knows the most insignificant details about a film from 1931, but can't remember at five o'clock where I've told him at three o'clock we're having for tea and doesn't know when I've had something new. <laughs> But anyway, maybe I'm just, because we're together too much now, <laughs> you know, the little things start to annoy you. <laughs> so that was that. So, and it's but buttonless and I absolutely love it. And it's, I don't know if it's wool or if it's just, um, I don't know what it would be. I've said this before in a video, I'm absolutely rubbish with materials, polyester. I don't even know what polyester is. I don't know what it is, but it feels like a wool coat. Fabric, it's made in China. Um, and don't don't wash it. So, it's just like I say, it's covered in hairs, but I've been wearing it loads and I absolutely love it. And it has zhuzhed up many a dull outfit, has this. Let me, I, I may as well just pop it on and show you, haven't I? Do you know what I haven't done? I haven't got my stool out from under the bed to, uh... <laughs> can you see that I've got my slippers on? <laughs> I'm so unprepared for this video. I did pop a bit of makeup on, but. So that's it. It's got sort of a thing down the back, a pleat. And it's just edge to edge, pockets. And I just think that's dead nice. And I think it just makes a normal, everyday, sort of quite boring outfit look quite nice. So that's going to feature very highly in today's video. And then what else have I bought? I bought these jeans, which were, I think I bought them in um, Cornwall because we did manage, we were so lucky. We managed to get down to Cornwall last year in August, the end of July. We literally came out of lockdown and we went to Cornwall, which was, we were so fortunate. And then we came out of lockdown again on the 2nd of December and we had Cornwall booked for the 5th. So we were able to go down to Cornwall again for a week. We took my daughter after school, but you know, she's already missed six months of last year. So I don't really think a couple more days would have made any difference. Um, and my, hu my husband, my son had finished university. His final week went online. So it all just kind of fell into place. So we went down to Cornwall. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> I'm really trying to stick to like a plan and not, not go off on a tangent. These are originally mint velvet and I think I paid about £4 for these and I mean look at the stretch on that. These jeans are my ever faithful 
uh, Dorothy Perkins jeans, skinny jeans. I mean, they are not gonna last me much longer. Firstly, because I'm not gonna fit in them for much longer if I carry on not going on my fasty cap. And two, I'm, I think I can feel a little bit of give there. I think they're gonna go. I think I'm gonna go, they're gonna be crotchless. <laughs> crotchless jeans so I bought these they've got a little bit of button detail they're a little bit cropped and I actually really like them um I wasn't sure about the color but I do really like them so I shall try them on um and one thing I've bought which has been a bit of a game changer has been a pair of colored tights I bought these from white stuff when we were in Cornwall and I didn't actually get them out of the pack for ages because we just didn't go anywhere but they're this lovely kind of teal colour and they're super super soft and I think they are quite expensive I mean what is it with tights these were like 12 pound or something so um but because I work for the NHS I got 20% off I think um you know if you, if you haven't got if you work for the emergency services or if you work as part of the NHS and you haven't got a blue light card you really should get a blue light card I think you pay five pound for the a couple of years I think and you get it I've got it on my phone and I've got the physical card as well and I mean the basically the thing that we use it for more than anything is Domino's pizzas because <laughs> you get 50% off hence why my jeans don't fit <laughs> I've got a necklace which I had for Christmas which was off my mum and dad which I absolutely love and this is from a girl off instagram called loops loves and i will try and link her instagram account below i mean i say that i'm really rubbish at doing things like that but i will i will try i'll really really try this time my son is going to try and help me with it oh, he's not going to try <laughs> how many times can i say try my son is going to help me with the editing of this video because he feels that my channel needs to be a little bit more curated and um so I'm like, right, okay then, let's curate it together. So, um, but yeah, it's this gold, it's like rope there, like cotton rope, gold and pink pom-poms. And I think against an outfit like this, I just absolutely love it. So that's something else that I've been wearing and loving. This is a dress that I bought from Sea Salt in Cornwall. I bought it in Cornwall and it's from Sea Salt, but I got it in a charity shop. And I actually paid £18 for this. And, but I do really, really love it. And it's got pockets, which immediately sold it to me. And this was one of those that I kind of bought and then I was very undecided about it initially with it only being, is it, what size is it actually? It was only a size 14. So I was a bit like, oh, is it gonna fit me? I mean, it is stretchy, but is it gonna sit on all my bulges? And, because you can't try anything on. And the biggest problem I was having in shops, you know, pre-lockdown, um, is that you can't try anything on. So, but I was prepared to go and have a go and then just to take it back the next day, it was literally a stone's throw from where we were staying. So, but absolutely love it, but it's quite boring, but I do love it. But I've got a couple of different ways of wearing it just to kind of make it a little bit more funky and a little bit younger because it can look a little bit art teacher. Not that there's anything wrong with being an art teacher, but you know what I mean? Like 60 year old art teacher job. And I think, um, you know, I'm 45 and I just want to look a bit more funky. So that's that. And then I also got this dress, which if any of you have watched any of my other videos, you'll probably recognise this from the summer. 2019 maybe and this is a dress that I bought from um, a charity shop and the brand is Maasai and I absolutely love it but it's super super summery it's blue and white stripes it's cotton short sleeved plungy neck it's absolutely gorgeous in the summer we wore it with silvery espadrilles silver handbag absolutely loved it how can we wear it in the winter this is what we need to ask ourselves. So I'm going to answer that question. And as you all know, I have got a bit of a love for tweed and I bought a tweed jacket again, I don't know, a couple of years ago. And you all went mental for it. You all absolutely loved it. And it's a Harris tweed jacket. I shall show you, bear with. So that's my Harris tweed jacket that I bought. 
that was two years ago I think I've had that and it I absolutely love that however <laughs> one can never resist tweed and I found that in a charity shop again in Cornwall and I love that it's completely different colour although it is still tweed I love the lining a little bit of me that red spots absolutely gorgeous I'm loving this sort of detail on the collar the velvet not velvet corduroy on the collar I would have loved it to have had corduroy there but it hasn't um, and it's just a little bit more fitted than than that one um, and because it's grey it's just I just love it I absolutely love it and this was a fiver and again it's one of those things I was like oh if it doesn't fit me I'll slim into it <laughs> which we all know is a total lie um, or pass it on to somebody else or just whatever but actually wearing it and it being it isn't I mean if I wore it fastened I wouldn't be able to breathe but in wearing it that little bit tighter it's a little bit more fitted and it actually looks quite smart so I'll show you how I've styled that and then these are just a couple of other little bits that I picked up I picked this up I think I picked this up in um Cornwall as well I did really well when we were in Cornwall <laughs> and oh did I pick this up just before we went I think this was just I think I took this with me not that you care really but I'm just telling you um yes I did I bought this before we went and this is originally from Jules and it is a size 14 and it's that kind of creepy material not t-shirty sort of viscousy floppy or t-shirt style that I really like. Love me some spots, love me a bit of navy, love me a bit of jewels. So that was that. And I also picked this up. Now I think I picked this up at the end of summer last year and actually have never worn it. And it is from Zara again. It was three pound and it's, oh, the light shining off that. It's just a very, very basic white top, very stretchy. It's got a bit of a hidden bust part at the front and it's a really good kind of piece, like a staple under things. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to very, very quickly show you how I would have worn this dress and then show you how I've styled it up. So this is the dress, very, very basic. I used to wear it with bare legs and um, either flip-flops or some sort of converse type shoe, um, maybe a little denim jacket and really really loved it but just kind of needed a way of wearing it that isn't so summery. So what I've done there is I've added my black tights, my chunky black ankle boots, I don't know whether you can actually see them, I'm filming you a little bit differently and I can't quite see the bottom of the screen but I think you can see it. And then just underneath, I've popped this white shirt and just popped on some black jewellery, black chunky jewellery. Now, the, the dress itself is na like a navy stripe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be, I'm going to wear my navy coat um, just to sort of see how it looks. Now, this is a cheats shirt because, well, I'll show you afterwards, it was actually, it was a... Um, a shirt with sleeves that came down to about there but it's very very oversized on me I think it's a size like 22 and it was re it's really really big so what I've done is because it was giving me a lot of bulk here of material that I didn't want I've actually cut it to there and I've cut the sleeves off it so it's literally just because this is the bit I'm interested in um, I just have literally got this much of a shirt and I just really like it but I really like what having the shirt underneath has done to the outfit I just think it's made it look quite scandy and quite chic dare I say and I really like that and if I pop my new coat on so that's it with the coat on and I just think there's something really really chic about that look and I don't know what it is I, I think it's having the collar and I, I honestly do think that that's what sort of makes it feel a little bit chic um, and what I'm going to do I did bring over there I brought a bag up with me because the coat is navy but the jewellery is black and my boots are black 
I'm going to use a black bag but not a plain black bag so that it's actually got a little bit of white in it. I just feel that the black matches the boots and the white matches the shirt and then I've got the navy of the coat is in the navy of the dress so I feel that I can kind of get away with it. God now I've got longer hair. Ah. Um, <laughs> so I really sort of really really like that look and I just think I just really really love the simplicity of it the elegance of it I just think it's really really smart and I actually wore this yesterday we only went to Sainsbury's I was literally out of the house for 10 minutes but I just felt so nice wearing this and getting dressed up even though it was to put a face mask on and go to the supermarket to buy a bag of Skittles for my daughter it just seemed to make everything better <laughs> This is the sea salt dress. So as you can see, it's super, super stretchy. And I, I do actually really, really like it. I love this high neckline. I think it's really, really flattering. Um, but, you know, it's one of those kind of, oh, how would you wear it? What would you do? So what I thought for this was to pop on some funky tights and my old faithful brown boots like that. I love the colour of these tights. I think they look really, really nice with the colour of the dress. I love blues and greens together. So I thought, what other way could I wear it? I've got my necklace from Loops Loves, which I do Loops Love. And I really like that with it. I think that looks really nice. And then I also, when we were away, I did actually manage to pick up a scarf. And it's just this one, which is a very, very simple spotty scarf, which I love, but it hasn't got a massive amount of bulk to it. And it's one of those that when you put on, it's sort of after a couple of minutes, it's sort of flocked. So what I thought was that if I was to team it with another scarf, and pretty much pop them both on together. So this is a scarf from White Stuff that I've had for ages. And then obviously I've got that one on the back. And what I'm gonna do is just sort of fold them on the diagonal so that they're not all, it's not all one way. And pop it up like that. Oh, I've swapped myself in the eye with a pom-pom. And then that way you get a bit of both of the scarves plus the bulk feels like it's going to be more substantial and is going to stay there. And then I'm going to pop on my coat because I love navy and navy and navy and navy. So there's that. And then I got a, I'm going to try a brown bag because I want to pick up the brown and the boots. So I've used this bag because it's got a bit of brown trim, but it's predominantly blue. This was an old faithful from um, a charity shop, which was a Marks and Spencer's one. And then just with the green tights and the brown boots, and I've got a little bit of green up here in the scarf somewhere, which sort of ties, I promise you there, <laughs> which just sort of ties the outfit together, man. And I really, really like that as an outfit. And I just think that if you were going if we were going shopping or if we were meeting a friend for coffee or I just think that's a really simple way of wearing it but might not always want to wear it like that so are there any other ways so by popping and again the what I call a shirtlet underneath it genius again I think it just transforms the dress from being something a little bit mumsy to something a little bit cooler in an ideal world, this shirt would have sort of much more angular collars, much more big, much more bigger, because that's great English. And I'm the one that does the literacy with my daughter. <laughs> and I just think if, I, if it had got a little bit of a, a bigger collar, I would probably like it a little bit more. And then there, I've literally just got a little silk neckerchief, which I had last year. And I just pulled the collar up a little bit and just put it around the neck of the dress. And I just think it changes it up again. I just think it looks, I think it looks quite nice and quite elegant. 
So again, it's just messing around with the stuff in your wardrobe. And then if I was wanting to go the whole hog and pop on my blazer, I'll show you this. And then I just put my tweed jacket on with it. And I really like that look. I know it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but I, I'm all down for this. And I think it looks really, really nice. It's quite chic, it's very elegant. It's just a completely different way of wearing the dress. And I really like it. I like the scarf detail and the collar. I think this should be called the just pop a white shirt under everything edit, <laughs> because that's basically what I'm gonna do. I just think it transforms something quite dramatically, to be honest. And it's it's so simple to do, and they're so easy to pick up. And I'm sure if we haven't all got a white shirt in our cupboards, it might be a white shirt that doesn't fit you anymore. It might be a white shirt that is too big or too small, or just cut it up, <laughs> just use the bits you need. So I, again, I just really, really like that. Like it with the green tights. And would I, oh no. So I really like that. I like it with the brown boots. I'm just gonna shove on my bag if I can find it. I might just go for a plain blue bag now and just wear it like that. And I think that looks really nice. And I think even though the coat is gray, I think gray and navy together works really well and looks really nice. And that was another idea I had. This is a cardigan that I actually did pick up in a charity shop at the tail end of last year. It's originally from Fat Face. It's just a buttonless long line cardi with pockets. And I paid seven pound for this. And again, it's just, I've just opened the collar of the shirt, turned it back down, popped on a brown necklace to go with the brown boots. Don't, you know, I could be wearing my navy leggings or and my knee high boots or something, but I think ankle boots with this length of dress works better. Um, so, but I think because the dress has got the pockets, it's just really quite casual and I, I really quite like that look. So this is one of the outfits made up of some of the pieces that I bought, which I absolutely love. These are the mint velvet jeans. My Fairfax and Faber boots couldn't do a video without a mensch. This is the Jules top and the coat which I never said but was originally from Maine which is part of Debenhams. I mean I don't know whether because Debenhams is unfortunately going, well not, I say unfortunately, when's the last time I ever bought anything from Debenhams that wasn't a mascara? Probably never. Um, my bag and I just think that this is such a lovely outfit. Now these are quite high-waisted jeans and I have quite a punchy tummy and I would not feel comfortable like that at all but do that and it just makes the difference so it really is about being clever with what you're wearing so i wouldn't probably wear these jeans and a top just on their own unless it was a really long sort of floaty top that you can't see anything i'm not really into that look i prefer more fitted clothes my body is screaming <laughs> floaty tops but my brain is going no it's fine so but I really really like this this is one of my sort of favorite go-to sort of outfits that I really really enjoy wearing and I think because the jacket has got the polka dots inside I love wearing it with the polka dot top I love the polka dots and the tweed because I think the juxtaposition of quite a stiff um sort of material against the almost floaty girliness of a, of a polka dot. I, re I really like how they sort of sit together. And again, I've got my little scarf, which I could if I wanted to. So even just shugging on a little neckerchief like that, it just changes up the whole outfit, just brightens it up. If you're not, you know, happy about the way your boobs look, pop a little scarf on to hide them, wear a different coat. I'm going to try on the, my long coat. You'll see what I mean about these jeans. I mean, I do absolutely love them, but, and they are very, very stretchy, but I don't know whether they give me a bit of a camel's toe. <laughs> now, funny thing, I don't actually like this coat with these boots because there's no gap in between the top of the boot and the bottom of the coat. And I don't think that I, I like it. I think these look far better 
when you can see the top of the boot and the jeans sort of as they are. So that's a little thing I've just learned. <laughs> just before you go, I just wanted to show you this skirt, which I bought in September last year. I bought it just before our son went off to university and I wore it to go out the night that we took him out for his sort of final supper as we dropped him off at university, but I've not shown it on my YouTube channel. And there is just so much joy in a tulle skirt. Now you may not share my joy. I teamed it with my sort of Doc Martin boots and a very sort of girly silk top underneath which I'm wearing that sort of cream top that I bought, which is a really, really good match to this because this is actually quite a plungy top for me and I'm a bit like, oh. So I really, really like that. Now, if I was to wear it, if I was to show you this, to find that on there. I've got a belt around it. Now I'm not really keen on this detail here. It just makes it look quite cheap. It was cheap. It was five pound from a charity shop. It's not the most flattering thing I've ever worn. This elasticated belt I pinched from my mother <laughs> about 15 years ago and it is still going strong and it's just one of those things that I absolutely love and I wear it around quite a lot of kind of goey outy outfits really and it's changed quite a few of them and I just think that that makes it look a little bit more finished off but I'm also aware that I look quite hippie. I mean I did go out for a meal like this. I was probably, I don't even know, half a stone slimmer then, who knows. I love it with the boots. I would wear black tights so that you couldn't see my ankles, but I do actually really like it with the boots. I think when we went out, there is a photograph on my Instagram. I think when we went out, I wore it with my white trainers and more of a white sort of, ooh, more of a sort of a white t-shirty top, but I, I really like the femininity of this against the leather jacket. And again, it's just, ooh, wearing things. Everything I'm wearing is charity shop. Um, this is, um, I don't even know who the woman's name is, but she's like mega expensive. I bought it last year before last even, and I've had this leather jacket for about seven years, eight years now, and it's originally from Zara, and it's real leather, and it's just absolutely the softest thing I've ever worn. And because it's got stretchy bits there, it just allows me that freedom of movement, because it's only, like I said, ridiculous. So I've just popped it on there with a little silver bag. I don't feel like I need anything around my neck because the top's quite fussy and it's silky and I don't want to ruin the lie of the top or pull it in any way with jewellery. But I just absolutely love it. I have got a whole Pinterest page dedicated to tool, tool, tool skirts. So imagine my delight on finding this. But it's finding it and wearing it in a way that is A, wearable every day. Not every day, I wouldn't wear it to go to Sainsbury's. Maybe I would wear it to go to Sainsbury's these days, who knows? But wearing it in a way that is not expected and just experimenting with different things in your wardrobe and just having a bit of a play about with everything that you've got and playing dress up. And I think that's what I haven't been doing and that's why I've probably lost my mojo a little bit for doing this because I've not been trying clothes on, I've not been coming upstairs for a couple of hours, having to play with the things in my wardrobe because I've not been really buying anything new because normally I'll buy something new, I'll come upstairs and I'll style it and I'll, you know, I'll try it in loads of different ways and that's how I get my inspiration for the videos but obviously not doing that has been quite difficult so I actually came up on Saturday afternoon and had a couple of hours of plain, plain dress up and really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, so, so that is me done. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. And I am hopefully gonna be doing a house tour really, really soon. And just to show you a couple of things that have changed around that, well, quite a lot has changed around the house. Nothing structural, just bits and bobs that I've done. I've basically, painted my way through lockdown one and sanded my way through this lockdown <laughs> so if you are interested then hang around for that and i will see you all really soon so thank you so much for watching and take lots of care see you really soon bye
something quite jump piece of popcorn from last night. 